so when the characters in Talk to Me are possessed, they get these huge black eyes. And I wondered how you achieved that effect, whether you went down the sort of CGI road that we've kind of all overdosed on recently or whether you did something perhaps a little bit more conventional. Yeah, yeah. We, we had um, different contact lenses for different stages of the possession. So, like, oh, that what was a practical. Is contact lenses? Yeah, it was like yeah. one thing that we really said of our actors, like, we need you to be able to be okay with contact lenses because it's really important to us. That we do and the contact people. lenses are like this big. They were like full Solaris. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh and um, the actors were all all down for it. And then like there was like a, a little bit of CG at some point just to touch up some of the irises a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was pretty much all practical. That, that's when CG is the best, when it's used to blend the practical. So we always try to shoot things as practically as possible and then use CG to kind of, you know, uh, merge together like seamlessly like that, that's uh, how we like using cgi yeah so does the same apply with all those dreadful injuries that the little boy has prosthetics and then top yeah, all of it. Jay. yeah yeah it was like uh, we had a really extensive makeup bubble and we love practical effects and makeup so like uh yeah now i just remember i was in a car crash when i was 16 like am I, I cut my eye open up here and i just remember the way my face swelled up so like that was a big inspiration for like uh, Riley's injuries in the film. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting the feeling you're slightly old school. In the yeah, yeah, we like, yeah. not using that much CG, and it's more a case of giving people something that's closer to reality on screen. Yeah, it's good for on screen, but it's also good for people on set. You know, when you have something real to react to, you know, it's easier to get to places. And you know, we figured that out early. The practical is looked better you know even the movies from the old school films look better now than some like the cg stuff that was made three years ago how, how does some of the stuff from the 80s and the 60s look better than now it's like because it's practical it, yeah ab absolutely and yeah sometimes the cg doesn't look that great to start with um <laughs> it's it's true but you, you, know can, you can look up a, a video on our youtube channel called mortal combat fatalities in real life and you will see like that was eight years old, but you saw us really sinking our teeth for the very violent practical effects.